I am Tamara Hopkins and I am responsible for developing the capacity of teachers to embed an effective balance of digital and traditional technology across the K-6 curriculum. A few examples of the digital technology we use at Grocery Public School include the We Do Robotics, Spheros, 3D printing, virtual reality goggles and we have a number of engaging apps on our iPads and computers to engage students in literacy and numeracy, coding and creating digital stories online. We look forward to bringing your child along the journey with us. At Grocery Public School we are a positive behaviour for learning school. We have five core values that we follow to make sure we are doing the right thing. Sometimes we need reminders to follow these values. Warren, our fun and friendly rainbow lorikeet, helps us to remember what we need to do by showing us the correct way to follow our school expectations. You will see him in lots of places around the school. When you follow our five school values, you might receive a token as a reward which students put in their classroom token box. At Grossview Public School, we are safe, respectful, responsible learners who care. Hello, my name is Mrs Harrington and I'm here today to talk to you about literacy at Grossview Public School. Here at Grossview, we use a synthetic phonics program from kindergarten all the way through to year six. It helps with reading and writing and helps students to differentiate between the different sounds. In kindergarten, we start with guided reading. In guided reading, we focus on meaning, text and visual information and we give them infective prompts and as you would see in some of the videos with the kindergarten teachers, we encourage them to use their finger to track their words. Whilst we're teaching guiding reading, the children do independent activities in the classroom. It may look a little bit chaotic, however they are having a great time and learning as they do so. With writing, we start with guided writing um, in a group of three with our kindergarten students and again they do independent writing activities, which again is lots of fun. Play-Doh, lots of fine motor activities and the children love it. And then we move on to independent writing and by the end of kindergarten you'll be amazed at how much your children can come home and write. Hello, welcome to our school library. I'm Mrs Thomas and I'm the library teacher at Grossview. Each week kindergarten students who bring their library bags are encouraged to borrow two books, especially from our junior fiction picture books and our non-fiction sections. Along with library skills, we learn about Captain Disposition and his seven superpowers. Students learn to be open-minded, flexible, risk-taking, resourceful, patient and persistent, ubiquitous and reflective learners. We also learn about critical and creative thinking and do our CCT crunches. You can learn more about the crunches by checking out our very first Gross View Gossip episode on our Facebook page. I'm Julia Hutchins, I'm a classroom teacher at Graceview Public School and I'm here to talk about mathematics in the classroom. So what does mathematics look like in the classroom? There's lots of group work, learning through games and activities, use of concrete materials, hands-on activities. Students are encouraged to talk about mathematics to develop their understanding. So how can you support your child with mathematics? You can play games like shop, hunt for numbers in the environment, play card games and board games, make patterns, move with maths, use playing cards, play with shapes, and measure things around the house. One of the programs we have at Grossview Public School is the Targeted Early Numeracy Intervention Program, or TEN. So what does TEN look like in the classroom? Students work in small groups at their own level. The activities are short, focused, and frequent. There is explicit and systematic teaching. There's lots of hand-on activities. Students and teachers are having fun and enjoying mathematics, and there's lots of talk about number. Hello Kindergarten 2021, my name is Mr Michael Smith and I'll be coming into your classes to do um, RFF for your teachers. Uh, this year I've been doing bringing literacy to life through creative and performing arts. So in the first term we looked at visual arts, uh, in the second term we looked at um, two aspects of music and this term we're doing drama. Um, one of the books that we're using uh, is The Magic Beach, this is the one that we're doing this week and next week. Um, we've done some fantastic activities um, about going to the beach, about collecting shells, um, rolling up our trouser legs and getting our feet wet in the uh, waves, um, enjoying the sand between our toes um, and coming home and getting dried off. Um, yeah, magic beach. Um, 
next term we're doing dance which will be really exciting i'm excited that you're here uh, i can't wait to see you next year in 2021。Public School, we have an amazing environmental sustainability program which includes each class having their very own vegetable garden which they plant out every year. We also have an enthusiastic group of students ranging from kindergarten to year six called the Green Thumbs. They have big responsibilities within the school and they meet twice a week. They tend to the chickens, they look after their gardens by watering them, we have worm farms that they feed and look after, we have compost bins which we use the compost scraps and the compost on the gardens later on. Our senior green thumbs run a seasonal store where they sell their eggs, their vegetables, their herbs and flowers and to make money to buy chicken food and other equipment that they may need in green thumbs. We also have our return and earn program which where they collect cans and poppers in the school and they make money that way. We look forward to seeing some new faces at green thumbs when you come to our school. our current school captains, Macy and Daniel, who are going to share some frequently asked questions about starting kindergarten. And what can my child wear to school? Good question, it's a really important one and it's our grocery uniform. Our grocery uniform can be found at Brian Norms in Richmond. Our main uniform is the green grocery shirt. Boys and girls can both wear this. They also come with green shorts. Boys can also wear cargo shorts and girls can wear skorts in summertime. We also have um, a summertime dress for girls and a winter tunic for girls that you can wear with a white Peter Pan collared shirt. White socks and we have our hats. Boys usually wear um, the hat with the flap at the back, so the Legionnaire hat and the girls will wear a wide brimmed hat. Hats can be found at the front office as well. And what food should I pack in my child's lunchbox? In your child's lunchbox each day, we promote healthy eating. So a healthy lunchbox with at least one piece of fruit or vegetable for your child to enjoy during our fruit break in the morning. Don't overpack your child's lunchbox because they do need time to play at recess and lunch as well. And also make sure that we don't have any nut products because we have quite a few students at Grocery that are allergic to nuts. How can I contact my child's teacher? Okay, there are a couple of different ways you can contact your child's teacher. You can always call the school office and the school office will get in contact with your child's teacher if you have any questions or you need to get a message across. We also will have Class Dojo set up and that is a messaging system and it's also a way that your teachers can communicate with you through messages and photos throughout the school day. They are our two main forms of communication between when is the school canteen open? Our school canteen is open on a Wednesday and a Friday. At the moment it is only open for lunch orders through Flexi Schools, which is a website that you will get familiar with. We um, always appreciate parent helpers to help as well because it is run by a parent at our school, Mrs Rebecca Camilleri. How can I help out at school? Great question. So if you would like to get involved in our school community, join the PNC. They are the heart of our school, they raise money for us, they make sure we have the latest equipment for the children. Just last year we raised enough money for every classroom teacher to have clever touch boards, interactive boards for the kids to use each and every day which has been wonderful. So if you are interested and we encourage as many families as possible, please let us know and you can attend the meeting and um, support our lovely school community. What is the best start assessment? The best start assessment is done prior to your child starting school. It's a short visit in the week before school starts where your child will sit down with their teacher and go through a short assessment which allows the teacher to see what your child knows already so we can plan and cater for your child from day one. We hope the frequently asked questions did help you clear up a few questions. When you see your teachers earlier next year, feel free to ask us, we're happy to help. Welcome kindergarten 2021. We'll be your buddies next year. We're really